This is Glenn Hodges. Uh, today is uh, March 19, uh, 2013. I'm in Chattanooga, Tennessee, right beside Walmart on Signal Mountain Road, right across the street from the Komatsu plant. I noticed as I was riding by uh, some new friends that I've met uh, who had hopped a train. Uh, I'm going to let you let them explain where they came from and kind of uh, what they do and the enjoyment they have in traveling the country. Uh, I think they're all musicians and uh, first we've got Michael here. Michael, Hi. tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, I'm a traveling musician from New Jersey. Uh, I just came in from, from Florida. I uh, hopped a train, got kidnapped by a school bus full of hippies. Uh, did a couple rainbow gatherings, was cooking for a whole lot of people, and traveled up north into Chattanooga, uh, delivering a girl to her to her family, and then I'm going out of Ohio to my girlfriend's family. All right. And and where's home originally? New Jersey, Pennsylvania, like that area. I lived on right. the, the ocean on the boardwalk, and I lived out in the mountains on a farm for a while. All right. Awesome. And uh, let's see. And and you are. I'm Andriana. <laughs> Andriana. And and where's home for you, Andriana? Northern Wisconsin. Northern Wisconsin. Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> and do you play an instrument also? I do not. I'm tone deaf. I just travel the country with my friends who do. Yeah. Oh. Well, and uh, is this your dog? No, my dog just passed in October. Oh, I'm I have, sorry. I have two rats over there, though. Why? Chicago okay. and Southside Gary. <laughs> right. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. And, uh, my next friend, uh, new friend with his uh, dog is... Uh, Cody. Cody. Cody yeah. and Bando. And bamboo. Yeah. And where's where's home for you? Well, my parents they live in uh, Coos Bay, Oregon. That's where I've been raised from. I was a, a fisherman, landscape artist out there. And economy just went downhill, and me and my dog here just started traveling with the band, <laughs> playing music all around. Man, we've been yeah. playing music now for about a year. And what yeah. what what do you play? I play the washed up bass in uh, the band Midline Crisis. We're a bunch of traveling kids out of Oregon mostly. And uh, we just go around and have a good time and show people a good time. Really, I'll awesome. try to get by place to place. Uh, how, how long have you been traveling now? Yeah, two years. About two years. Two how, years. how old are you now? 22. 22? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you. No problem, Glenn. And last uh, but not least. <laughs> last but not least, who do we have here? Uh, Jay. And I'm out of San Antonio, Jay. Texas. From where in Texas? San Antonio. San Antonio. I was. Uh, Let's see, I was in Austin, Texas back in January. Yeah, that can uh, be fun. <laughs> yeah, that's a fun place. I liked Austin. So, um, I mean, I just, why did I start doing it? Yeah. Uh, 20 years in the same place got kind of boring, I guess. And I wanted to get better at guitar, kind of hit a plateau doing that. And when you travel, the only music you hear is like what you're playing or what other people are playing mostly, you know what I mean? Right. And so that's a good way to start, you know, start picking and making a lot of original stuff up. And I met, met him up in Tucson, and we kind of want to get something going. All right, and we'll, my banjo player is going to meet me up here probably in the next few couple days or so. And uh, where, where did you hop the train at? Uh, to Chattanooga from New Orleans. New Orleans. And it was like a 30-some-odd hour ride, yeah. kind of. It was a little bit slow, but... <laughs> so, was it scary first time you... Fast at times, and we'll stop for No, it was a blast, actually. It was everything kind of I expected it would be. Do 70. But it wasn't... Uh, See, yeah, I mean, of course, you can die on a train. Everyone knows that, but yeah, it gets you from where you, where you got to be, you know, and you get to see a lot of the country you wouldn't get to see otherwise because there's no roads out there. It's just rails, you know. Right. The price is right. <laughs> Definitely. Did, did you meet some other people on the on the rail? Uh, yeah, lots. Pretty much everyone I've been going with, I've been meeting, doing it. So. Right. I left with another person, uh, my best friend from kindergarten. That's what I'm talking about. I play, I play banjo with. He's gonna be meeting me out here pretty soon. Awesome. Well, thanks a lot. I hope you folks have a, a good journey and, uh, and are able to meet up with your friends and yeah. uh, play a gig maybe here in Chattanooga and make some money. Possibly. And uh, Chattanooga is a friendly city. Uh, this is Glenn Hodges saying uh, goodbye for now at the Walmart on Woo! Signal Mountain Road. Good morning. This is Glenn Hodges uh, from my office in Signal Mountain, Tennessee. I hope you enjoyed the video that I shot of the rail hoppers. Uh, I think I entitled it Riding the Rails. Uh, 
you know, I can relate to those guys. I, I've always had a desire to do something wild and crazy like that. Uh, it's, it's adventuresome. Some of them, you know, I think it experienced hard times and maybe were trying to escape something, but they were enjoying the thrill of an adventure of going to new places. I'm, I'm not sure where you are in life, uh, what your experiences are, but there's a possibility that maybe you need to earn a little extra money. Maybe uh, the economy's had an impact on your savings, retirement, uh, or maybe you're just starting out in life. Uh, you know, what I have discovered is great for anyone, whether it's a stay-at-home mom, the soccer mom, uh, a, a guy that works construction, a fireman, a policeman. We even have doctors and, and attorneys that are involved with Empower Network. Empower Network, uh, I discovered after I had closed my business uh, that I'd operated for almost 26 years. I closed it completely broke. I'd invested everything I had in it, plus everything I could borrow. So I closed it broke and in debt, almost a million dollars. Empower Network totally changed my life. It enables me to utilize all the skills that I have. Uh, it's something that can possibly change your life. I can't make you successful, but I can give you the tools that will enable you to be as, as successful as you choose to be. Contact me, Glenn, G-L-Y-N-N, at EmpowerYouMarketing.com. Or you can visit my website, EmpowerYouMarketing.com. This is Glenn from High Top Signal Mountain saying, if you like to travel and enjoy the beaches of the world, join with me and I will see you on the beaches of the world.